Yesterday, the Flames won their third game in a row, second since the Lindholm Kuzmenko trade. This looks like a completely different team than the one that we saw right before the All Star break. That team looked like they were sleepwalking, ready for the trade deadline to come. Now they're coming off as really energized and hardworking. Case in point, they weren't afraid to go to the dirty areas yesterday to score. Some might say they got some lucky loose pucks in front of the net. You gotta earn those, man. Those don't come to the teams that aren't hungry. This team knows that very well. And of course, Jacob Markstrom was stellar again yesterday. He's been fantastic this year. Kuzmenko scores again yesterday. He's having a great start to his Flames career. And now that one of the three UFAs, arguably the most valuable in Lindholm, has been traded, the focus has definitely shifted over to Noah Hannafin and Chris Tanev. By trading away his number one centerman, Craig Conroy has kickstarted on a retool, rebuild, whatever you want to call it here. So those two definitely have a lot of eyes on them approaching the trade deadline. With Hannafin, apparently he hasn't made his decision yet about whether he wants to stay or go, so there's still, I guess, a chance he could stay. But with Tanev, it seems to be a matter of time. I mean, there were 15 pro scouts in the building last night in New Jersey, so there's clearly a lot of pressure and a ton riding on on this asset being healthy enough to play for whichever team acquires him. And that's been a big question for Tanev a lot of times in his career. The injury bug has bit this guy a bunch over the years. And it almost did again last night, twice. Hughes comes through the middle, takes a shot, gets blocked by Tanev. He falls down going to the net. It's pretty harmless up to this point. But it goes 0-100 to real fast. He accidentally takes out Tanev's feet and it turns into a full wipeout. A brutal one too. Like Tanev goes into the net. That could have easily been devastating for him and for the Flames. He immediately goes right down the tunnel, and as a Flames fan, you're thinking, oh no, is he okay, first of all? This guy's been through so much injury-wise, please don't make him have to deal with a brutal one like that. And if he was going to be out for any period of time, it instantly becomes 10 times harder to trade the guy. That's a massive piece that for a retool, you need to get assets for. You cannot afford to get nothing for this guy as he walks to UFA. I know there's going to be some people saying, well, what if you keep him? Maybe he re-signs with the Flames. It's a fair question. I'm just not sure how much of an appetite the Flames have to roll the dice with an asset that could possibly leave them for nothing in free agency. They've been burned there before. Nevertheless, he returned to the game, bullet dodged, right? A few minutes later in the third, he gets clipped pretty good in the face. And again, he had to go down the tunnel, and again, Flames fans are like, uh-oh. It was a four-minute power play for the Flames, so Tanev probably got cut, meaning he was probably getting stitches in the room. But again, he came back. Thank God. In the span of a period, the Flames almost lost this guy twice. I don't know about you guys, but I am praying that he doesn't get injured before the potential trade. Not even just for the value the Flames might get back, but let's just see this guy be healthy, please. He deserves it. He's a good dude. And I want to see him go to a place where he can go on a nice playoff run. Man, the way he fell on that play with Jack Hughes, I was genuinely worried for a second. That did not look good. Hockey gods, protect this guy, please. Also, how about that weird non-goal by Martin Pospisil in the open net while Vanacek like storms out to the boards? There were no penalties on the play and nobody did anything to warrant a whistle, so I'd like to know why that goal didn't count. Either way, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you want more Flames content, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, I'll see you in the next one. You're awesome.